starting into a downward facing dog. Bring the feet hip width apart, hand shoulder width apart. Stretch the legs from side to side, encouraging one heel onto the ground and then the other. On the next inhale, left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and split the hips. Bring the left hip over the right. Start making circle with the knee. And change direction. Exhale, bring the knee forward and step on the outside of the left hand. Coming into a lizard pose. Option to stay as we are, or you can drop the back knee, you can drop the elbows down, uh, any of this variation. Keep the left big toe on the ground though, to press the weight onto the left hip and avoid sinking to the other side. And slowly coming back onto your hands. Drop the left knee behind your left wrist and bring the left foot towards the right side of the mat. Flex the toes of the left foot and slide the right leg back to come into pigeon. Making sure the left knee isn't in any pain. You have the option here to slide something underneath your left glute for support. Keep the weight towards the right side of the body, the extended leg, and start walking your hands back. Option one, we stay here and hold. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the stretch and get a quad and hip flexor stretch as well, you can bend the right knee and flex the foot. And then we are going to bring the right arm back and grab the foot. And if you've got it, maybe try and slide your foot onto the elbow. If your foot is onto the elbow, Come into mermaid pose, maybe bring the left arm overhead and take a bow with your hands. So you've got two options to stay here. Maybe you've got the foot onto the elbow or maybe you've got the foot and you kick the leg back. Or maybe you're just into no normal pigeon. Any of this variation. And we hold. If you've got the bind, release the bind. Bring your hands back on the ground and drop the weight onto the left glute this time. Bring the right leg forward. Option one, the right foot goes flat onto the outside of the left knee. If you're struggling to have both sit bones on the ground in this position, extend the left leg on the mat. Right hand is by our side. Inhale, the left arm lifts. Keep the back nice and straight. And exhale, hook the right knee with the elbows and twist to the right side of the mat. Keep the spine nice and straight. Avoid leaning forward or back. Sit bones are pointing down and the spine is straight. Or maybe you've got both knees bent. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Bring the gaze behind your right shoulder. If you want to go a little bit deeper in the stretch, you can grab. Every inhale, lengthen the spine. Every exhale, we twist a little bit more behind you. Inhale, slowly release. And we're bending both knees. Press your hands on the ground and step or jump back into your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale the right leg up to the sky. On the exhale, bend the knee and split the hips. Right heel goes over the left. Right knee towards the sky. Start making circle with the knee. Big circle using the full range of motion. To one direction. And to the other direction. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest and step on the outside of the right foot. Leather pose. Again, option here, stay on your hand, left knee in off the mat. Option two, drop the knee, hands on the mat. Option three, elbows on the ground. Option four, knee up. Deep breath, trying to relax the body. Slowly on the exhale, coming back onto your hands and dropping the right knee behind the right wrist. Right foot to the left, flex the foot and slide the left leg back, pigeon. Either you stay here and walk your hands back, pushing the weight towards the left leg. Option two, flex the left foot, bend the knee and grab the foot with your hand. Or you can start sliding the foot onto the left elbow press. And going to your mermaid by taking the bind overhead with the right arm. If you've got the bind, release. Bring your hands flat on the ground. Push the weight towards your right glutes. And bring the left foot forward. Left foot on the outside of the right thigh. Make sure your sit bones are both planted on the ground. If not, we extend the right leg forward. If you can, keep both knees bent. Bring your left hand by the left hip. Inhale, the right arm come up to the sky. Exhale, hook the left knee and twist. looking behind your left shoulder. Still keeping the hips and shoulders aligned. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist towards the back of the room. Exhale, release. This time, extend the legs forward and come into a forward fold. If your hamstrings are very tight, you might want to sit against a wall, making sure the back is straight against the wall, sit bones pointing towards the ground. Inhale, reach arms up, flex the feet. On the exhale, folding forward. Keep the back straight, the shoulder blades back, shoulders away from the ears. So you know that the bend is coming from the hips. If you're struggling to keep the back straight in this position, micro bend the knees and try again. Option three is to slide your forearms underneath the knees, grab the opposite elbow and hands together, and then you can extend the legs forward. Whatever option you've got, we're holding it there for 10 to 15 breaths.
in her rolling back up into a sit. Bend the knees, bring the feet together and open the knees to the side. Stay against the wall to make sure the back is straight again. I know sit bones on the top under. Inhale, le lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding forward. Try to bring the nose over the feet and push the elbows onto the thighs to push the thighs towards the ground. You can do it this way. You can also bring weights onto the knees here to push the knees down towards the ground. And so rolling up into a sit again. And that's it for our lower body stretches.